Because you've got like a ginormous front yard. It's like a soccer field. It looks like the septic's right there in the front too where this little bump is. The roof's newer, AC's newer. Two car garage, side load. Looks like she's got some kind of little vegetable garden started over here too. This yard is insane. Stan's gotta get a ride mower. Got gas on the property. It's your AC. This is a little fence around here. on one side. You got a preserve behind you. A fire pit here. Or what used to be one. Looks like a bunch of kind of hodgepodge of bricks, but This window almost looks like it has plastic on it. It's kind of weird. Gotta check it out from the inside. The landscape's pretty. And then you got this kind of cool porch. You, this needs a porch swing for sure. This is probably like six or seven feet deep on each side. And the patio is probably 30 feet long. Maybe 25. Okay, so when you first come in, there's an office space or a, maybe a formal sitting room to your left. You've got vaulted ceilings. You got pergo floors through the whole main space here. And then this is all vaulted as well in the living room with skylights. Then there's another set of, I guess these are pocket doors on this side and pocket doors on that side as well. So you can close off either one of these rooms. This would probably be used as your formal dining. Thank you for the demonstration. <laughs> you got a coat closet here as you come in. And then when you get to this part, this is your living room, which is kind of narrow, to be honest. Like, how do you, it would be really tight to put a couch right here that'd almost be like touching that. Huh. It'd be like one couch. Yeah, it's, I'm not really digging this. So it would be super tiny, not a whole lot of communal space. And same with this, if you did like an eat-in, 
there's not a lot of room here for a table. It's kind of weird, right? Mm -hmm. So, okay. It's the kitchen. And this is a different flooring in here. This looks like a vinyl plank. Looks newer. The cabinets are painted, like homeowner painted. Feel it? I do like all the French doors. Like, that's really pretty going out to the pool. But the living room is tough for me. Okay, let's go down the hallway to the bedroom. She's got, I guess this could be like a giant pantry right behind the front, the kitchen. It's a pretty big one to double doors. Crossing that, you've got the bathroom, another pocket door. This would also be considered your pool bath. So you've got old school tile, marble shower. And then, oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, I wonder if this used to be a shower because it's got like the tiles around and they turned it into a closet. That's odd. Okay, yeah, this used to be the shower. See, it's like a little tiny shower, tube shower, and they just put this in here to store. It's kind of, that's odd to me. But, and they turn this, did you see this? Yeah, I did. That's weird, right? Like it still has the shower wall. Like see the, the threshold and stuff? Mm -hmm. Oh, and this must be the toilet. And then you got your toilet in there. And then you have, this door goes out to the pool. This probably was a tub and that was a shower and they just changed it, but they didn't execute it good enough. All right, bedroom one, it's 11 by 11. This one overlooks the backyard, big old closet. We got, oh, central back. Uh, this is just a hall closet like for linens. Bedroom two. This is probably 11 by 11, 12 by 12. Pretty identical to the one next to it. Big old closet too. Which is step down. Thank you. I killed myself almost twice. <laughs> so just step down here into the laundry. More storage. Got a wash tub and then your washer and dryer would go here. You also have some additional cabinetry in here and a skylight for when you're feeling fancy when you're doing your laundry okay then they've got a glass door going out to the garage i'm sure that's not fire rated oh there's that mower maybe <laughs> it's like you're gonna need a riding mower for this yard and it's already here you got a couple shutters but i don't think that's enough there's like three okay and there's your newer AC here. Got gas on the hot water heater. This looks a little bit older. I don't see a date on it though. I mean, it's clean. It's not rusted or anything, but last termite inspection was in 16. It's been there at least five years. It should be right here on the date. Oh, 2008. There we go. Okay, so it's older. 13 year old water heater. This is an interesting conglomeration of pipes and stuff here. I'm not sure what the hell that is. Okay, there's a step up to go in here, and another step up to go in here. Okay. All right, so that's one side. So for a layout, you kind of have front door, office or sitting room, dining room, go through the kitchen, and then you got two bedrooms and the laundry room that way. Then you go back this way to the living space, and again, there is these cool skylights all over the place. I do like all the light in here. It is nice and bright. Yeah, it is. Okay, this wing is the master. This sucker's huge. Okay, so this room's very nice. This is big. Yeah. This room is really nice. It Super long. Like the rest of it. so. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a big room. And then you go down the hallway, and you've got closet here, 
Miss Watkins. It's like a his and her. His closet. and hers, yeah. You got Watkins here. This is more of a linen. And there's another one. Dose Watkins. There you go. Everybody gets their own closet. Okay. And then here's your sink area. You've got dual sinks. There's that same uh, old school white tile. Here's the shower. It's a smaller one, and it looks like they lost the door to it, so they put up a curtain. And then over here, you got your jacuzzi tub. And outside that is kind of like a stucco wall, so the neighbors can't see you getting out of the tub. You can kind of tell it's like a couple feet away. I'm just get out of the tub here. So they painted these beautiful flowers for you to look at while you're in the shower. Here's your jetted tub. And then there's the toilet room. All right, let's go tight. Okay. Oh, that must be the key for the doors. bottom. I got this one. Here we go. All right. So there's a lot of French doors and they all lock with a key. So you got one to the bathroom, one to the kitchen, living. Shutters. Oh, there's more shutters. Okay, great. Maybe these are enough. Master bedroom. This is by the fireplace. And then this one's kind of like the dining looking at the kitchen. So you've got a good amount of covered space here. You got about 15 feet across. And then this goes way over the whole length of the house here. And it looks like the shutters clip into this right here. So they just kind of cover up from here. The pool is ginormous and you've got a huge screen deck here too. Like this is, there's a lot of decking. Pool looks, that's a planner. So you can add like a tree or something in there. It's kind of cloudy, but the finish looks okay. I don't see it needing anything. They got this empty, but you know, just put some plants and rocks in here, you'd be all set. It's a big pool. Yeah, it is. What? What, like five feet maybe? Oh, it probably goes deeper than that. It's an older pool. Only one way to find out. Go ahead, hop in. <laughs> Alrighty. I mean, it, the property's beautiful. The only thing I'm struggling with is the living space. The living room is really tiny. But you are kind of going to live out here anyway. So you've got your backyard's amazing. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon.